C podcast. As Australia's ongoing trade war with China shows uh, no shines, uh, signs of slowing down uh, and China slowly makes itself more unpopular around the world, Aussie builders and property developers are starting to look to other offshore suppliers. And one of the main contenders is India. Steve Chandler is a property development expert and award-winning property development trainer and joins us now. Steve, good morning. Good morning, Steve. Thanks for having me. Uh, probably no surprise here. I mean, India was probably always going to be the first cap off the rank if we moved away from China. But um, I guess, are there products that we still have to source from somewhere else? Well, over the last sort of decade, you know, from the GFC period onwards, the amount of building product that's been coming in from China has been growing and growing and growing. And we're at a point now, because of the trade wars, it's making people really look at um, alternate sources. And you know, if, if the threat to supply of product is there, you know, reliability becomes critical. Builders are sitting there with the potential for liquidated damages if you know, their supplier in China is stopped from supplying. Mm. Um, it, it can be really a, a serious problem. So. There's a huge amount of product that we, we use in our industry that comes out of China. And you know, India is, as you said, you know, it's an obvious alternate source. So obviously things like uh, tapware and um, uh, ceramics and I know a lot of tiles are coming out of China. What other sort of products are we... I mean, are there any products that would surprise the average Aussie to think that, hang on, why aren't we making it ourselves here? Oh, there's a lot of things that... Ask myself, you know, why aren't we making it here? And that the answer to that question is we're, we're not cost competitive over here. Um, you know, I, last year with the GFC, uh, the GFC the, sorry, the uh, with COVID mm. uh, and the shutdown, it, it really brought to the fore that whole scenario of you know we should be high tech producing product, you know, using automation, using robotics, all, all that sort of stuff. We should be doing that in Australia. So you know, we, we've got we've got the brain power here to do it, to create the the machinery. We've got the raw materials. You know, it, it's just we when when we opened the border and took the tariffs off and you know, had free trade agreements. Yeah, you know, our industry then went. Oh, gee, it's cheaper over there because the labour's cheaper, and we, we've gone there. And it, it's disappointing that we did that. And we lost all our manufacturing, but th there's no reason with with technology that we can't start bringing it back. We, we, we can make almost everything over here. We used to, um, you know, for our industry, why why don't we do it again? And, you know, that's gonna give us certainty of supply, there's no doubt about it. At this point in time, it'd be very expensive to do so, but if we can get our technology working for us, and you know, use the brain power we've got here, then I reckon we could be very, very competitive and then not have this you know, threat to our economy from you know, a major country like China who, when they you know, stop the tap, it, it, it can affect us all over here. Well, I remember when I was in the building game and I was working exclusively with steel buildings and um, we were kind of under threat from Chinese product, but you could still um, be competitive in the marketplace because our product was so much of, of so much higher quality and not that much dearer. Uh, Mylon, are we still producing steel here for building, or is it all being imported these days? No, we're still <clears throat> we're still producing steel down in you know Port Kembla, uh, Blue Scope Steel, which you know used to be BHP, you know, couple, couple of decades ago now. Um, you know, it's a spin-off out of BHP, but Blue Scope Steel, you know, they've done a great job, you know, keeping you know steelworks alive in Australia, even with the threat of all this work, you know, the, the imported steel coming from overseas. You know, if you look back sort of 10 years ago, mm. we were exporting all the raw materials to China. They were making the steel and bringing it back into Australia for cheaper than we could make it over here. Um, mm. So that was a, a real issue. But Blue Scope's done a great job keeping the steel making process alive over here by, by doing what we call downstream um, adding value, value add products. You know the coated steel. Everybody knows, you know, color bond steel. You know that that that's where they sort of have been able to make some money and compete um, because they've got brand awareness. 
Yeah, as I, I said at the top of the program, I think our stimulus efforts need to be more targeted into, uh, in, you know, encouraging Australian businesses and manufacturing to get on the go again, rather than just, um, you know, recovery at any cost. Steve, great to speak to you. We'll catch up again soon. Thank you kindly, Steve. Steve Chandler, property development expert and award-winning property development trainer. I think he makes some interesting points there. We're talking camera, zero double C, we're talking camera. A two double C podcast.